Euclid St. Paul is fun, easygoing, a little weird, diverse, different. Life in Euclid St. Paul is pretty cool because it's a historic neighborhood in the middle of a city. Oh gee, what don't I love about living in this area? It's a beautiful neighborhood. It's close to downtown. It's within easy biking distance of everything going on downtown. We can walk down to Crescent Lake. Beautiful homes, nice people. Sometimes you'll, you'll drive down 16th on our way home and you look forward and you say, the trop. Like a Major League Baseball team plays nine blocks away from us. It's kind of a different neighborhood. There's a lot of different kinds of people who live here. Um, there's not one style of family or one style of person who lives here. Uh, also, the homes are very different. Every, every home is very different. It has its own personality. So we get together a lot. There's um, gatherings all the time, it seems. There's porch parties once a month. It's a very social environment. We've got uh, from the porch parties to the haunted hike to just neighbors in general inviting us over for dinners, things like that. It's a very social environment. We have um, a Ladies of Euclid once a month too where we get together and um, from craft activities to just hanging out and catching up and seeing what's going on with everyone. We're going to start a Dudes of Euclid. Yeah, definitely need that. <laughs> definitely need that. I suppose our, uh, the biggest event of our calendar year is our Haunted Hike. The Haunted Hike is a fundraiser in the neighborhood that's been going on for some years, and it's a lot of fun. As we became active in the neighborhood, uh, we met Wendy Wesley. So it was natural to talk, brainstorm with her. It kind of fell together just naturally from that. I've told 12 stories for the Haunted Hike so far. I really like the, uh, the Dead and Breakfast, I think. Um, we had a big cast and we told a lot of jokes and uh, just we it was a cast of spooky characters checking into a dead and breakfast and it was it just flowed it was fun it was a lot of fun basically it's a bunch of tours that go through the neighborhood and there's volunteers set up throughout doing kind of spooky stories and um, some side shows for entertainment as they're walking through The most amazing thing about this whole thing was how the neighborhood, the people in the neighborhood after the first year, it clicked. The years after that, it just continued to get better and better. The most unique thing about Euclid St. Paul, it's got to be the people. Euclid St. Falls is a very welcoming, mutually supportive neighborhood where people are free to come and go as they please and know that their, their neighbors are there if they need them. It's a funky, creative, laid-back neighborhood. People still use the sidewalk, and I think that is the key for one reason why this neighborhood, as well as so many in the northeast section of St. Pete, have had such a wonderful renaissance.